We did it. It's another Marvel Monday. <laughs> and this week we are talking about Thor. Uh, so this was my first time watching this movie. Um, I did not know anything about it besides that Thor was in it. <laughs> and I did know about some of the cast, but I had a lot of surprises. There was a lot in this movie of, oh yeah, oh, I know them. Oh, they're in this. Oh, wow. You know, that kind of thing. Um, especially because I have seen Thor Ragnarok, although not in a while. So it's definitely time for a rewatch, which I'll get to it eventually. But um, so yeah, so there were like little bits of it that I was familiar with, but um, but I had never seen it and I didn't really know what to expect. But uh, I really enjoyed the experience. I really liked meeting this character. Um, yeah, so basically, what can I, how do I start? So, uh, <laughs> sorry. So um, the first half was a little weaker for me when they go to Jotunheim, that like icy frozen people planet. Um, I was kind of like, yeah, okay. Like, you know, I wasn't really focused. I, I was kind of just like, ugh, I don't know what's going on. But the immediate aftermath of that I found to be really interesting. So really quick, before we keep chatting, I do want to mention um, my friend Emma sent me a pack of a, a box full of uh, really cool scrapbook paper. And this uh, superhero pad of paper was included in that. And it's perfect for what we have been working on here on Marvel Mondays. Uh, so I'm using the lightning bolts from that for Thor uh, for these first two pages. And a big thank you to Emma for that. Um, Recollections is the brand of paper, which I believe means it's Michael's brand, just in case you were looking for it. But as you can see, it's like really cool. It's got kind of like a shiny element. Uh, and I paired it with this yellow scrap paper um, that I have that's recycled. So uh, that was fun, uh, a good matchup, I think. So basically, uh, in these uh, spreads, you're just going to see me laying out the um, the groundwork for the spread. And then I did all my writing off camera, and you'll see all that in um, the final uh, flip through. So yeah, so that's just a little uh, housekeeping as far as the art journaling goes. But let's get back to Thor. So the immediate aftermath of him going to the ice planet with his friends and trying to like, you know, get back at the guy for coming to their place. I'm sorry that my terminology is off, but I know that you know what I'm saying. So, uh, so he goes there against his father's wishes. And I thought it was really interesting. The concept of like how his father, doesn't want war and Thor sees that as a weakness you know what I mean like he he calls him a fool and stuff like that and uh like in the moments before he's banished and I thought that was just so uh such like a, a compelling relationship um as far as like you know his dad knows what war is like because he's been in it you know and I feel like Thor wants a war so that he can like prove himself in those beginning parts you know um and I okay so I want to talk about Loki we've got to talk about Loki um I really like Loki a lot so like I get it you know like I get the the standing of Loki he's like really cool so I, right away I was watching him because I know that Loki's cool I've seen him in a couple of the other movies um I think one of the the Avengers or whatever but so I knew that he was cool and I know that I have a lot of friends who like really love Loki so I was watching for him from the start and I have to say like the way that Tom Hiddleston plays him is just so fun to watch because even when he's standing there silently and not doing anything, he's you can see him thinking. Like you can see Loki thinking through everything that's going on. You can see him absorbing everything that's said and like you can just see his wheels turning and I really loved that. I thought that was just like so much fun to watch. Um and I and you feel for him. I mean, you know, like even though we know that he is 
the person who helped the bad guys get into Asgard in that beginning segment, like, he still, I think, really, like, loves his father and his brother and just wants to be, like, seen, you know? Like, it it makes me think of Oprah. She says, like, um, all anyone wants is to know that they're, that someone sees them, you know? And, like, yeah, that was, that was really something. And to watch, and then the whole thing with, like, his parentage, I did not know that. Um, That was really interesting, that he's not actually a son of uh, Odin. He was, uh, like, kind of saved or whatever as a baby. That I did not have any idea. Um, And I think it just adds to him uh, and to his story, you know? So that was really something. Um, But, yeah, I, I really like also their dynamic as brothers. I love their, like... They're like opposites. It's kind of obvious, you know, like Thor is like outgoing and, uh, you know, the kind of like superstar and Loki's kind of in the background. But I feel like it's like even more complicated than that. Um, and I'm excited to see how that continues to uh, to grow and change over the, the rest of the movies. Um, I will also say like Asgard was just really visually stunning. Um, it was just really beautiful. I thought it was really well done. It's got like shades of Wakanda kind of, you know, um, although Wakanda is like breathtaking, but you know, I, I did really like the city and that whole thing was really cool. And then I also totally didn't remember that Idris Elba was in this movie. So that was a, a fun surprise. I do recognize that bridge from Ragnarok, but I didn't remember much about it, but that was cool to see. Um, and then, okay, so let's get to Earth, right? So <laughs> so I, okay, so the character of Jane, I that one of the things, if I had to say something I didn't like about the movie would probably just be that she, I think, is like super underdeveloped. Like, I, not that, not like by the fault of Natalie Portman or anything, but um, I just wanted more. I just wanted more of her. Um, I really liked her relationship with Thor and how that was, like, uh, blossoming. And I just wanted more of it, you know? Like, I feel like that happened really fast and we didn't really see how is how it felt. But but I loved it. Like, I, I really like her. I like the idea of a scientist um, just trying to get to the bottom of what is going on and then kind of finding themselves in that predicament I thought was really fun um and I also liked the concept of shield being the bad guys you know like when they came to take and they take all of her research away like that sucks but it's like you kind of understand where they're coming from but it's also like like they don't explain anything to her at first and they're just like sorry, like, this is your life's work, but now it belongs to us, so bye. And, like, that was a bummer. But um, but I liked seeing that other side of how people could view S.H.I.E.L.D. so that they're not just, like, they're not, like, always the foolproof good guys, you know? Um, so, yeah, so that was interesting. I do really, but I did really like the character of Jane. I thought she was uh, really fun, and uh, I'm, I know that she's in Dark World, Um the second Thor so I'm excited to see that I don't know anything about that movie like zero like less than I knew about this one so that's exciting um I really liked seeing Kat Denning's character because yes I am watching WandaVision as it's released um and there's obviously a lot that I'm missing from it but I am watching it anyway and it's great but um I know that uh spoiler alert if I didn't say that sorry spoiler alert for everything WandaVision and Thor obviously, but I know that Kat Denning's character appears in WandaVision, so, um, so that's cool to see her, and I did really like her character, I thought she was funny, and, uh, just some nice, like, comic relief, uh, so that was cool, uh, and then I also really liked Stellan, uh, Skarsgård's character, too, he was cool, um, just, like, the kind of scientist that has been around the block, you know, um, and just really wants to, help Natalie Portman's character uh that was cool so okay so that two page spread is done and now we're moving on to the third page I'm doing one more page for just writing thoughts and stuff and then I'm doing one more like art uh 
art piece page, which I'm really happy with how this one turned out and I'm excited for you to see it. Um, this paper that I'm also using in the background of this, this also came from that superhero um, pad. And if you see, it's like, see how it kind of looks like comics? I'm obsessed. It's It turned out so cool and it's such a good background. Um, so yeah, on this page, I'm just kind of writing about some of the side characters and then about the Stanley cameo where he was driving the truck trying to pull the hammer out of the ground and the post credit scene, uh, which was interesting. And I know that that blue cube in the in the post credit scene like becomes a thing, right? I think. And I thought that like the big blue cube that they had in Asgard was that thing, but it's not, right? Okay, anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, so what else? What else can we talk about? As far as what I didn't like, yeah, I mean, I think it was mainly the the opening where I just felt like it wasn't really, it just, I don't know, it didn't hit for me, the the beginning battle. I just, like, didn't care. But when it's, like, that real CGI heavy stuff, I know I've said this in my other Marvel Monday videos, like, that's when I tend to sort of start to just, like, check out. I'm trying to work on that, <laughs> but um, but it wasn't too bad in this movie, and, like, the final battle didn't um, bother me much, as much as it did in, like, and I say bother me, but I just mean, like, it didn't uh, make me, like, shut down and just get bored like some of the other ones have, Um so, so it wasn't that bad, but so what else about this movie did I not love? I mean, that was main, the main thing, and then also I think it was just, like, lack of of really getting to know people. I guess there just wasn't time, but, like, I do really like his gang. You'll see them in that picture there, the four uh, friends. I do not know their names, but that's, like, the thing. I, why don't I know their names? I kind of wish I did, you know? Like, I thought they were really fun and funny, but they were just kind of, like there and I again I guess there like wasn't time to meet them but I li I liked them and I wanted to meet them you know what I mean so that was kind of a bummer um to not like really know that group so like like when they came to earth to find Thor like that was cool but I felt like it could have been so much more emotionally effective like if I knew them you know and like the the female character I honestly don't know her name. Do they even say say her name? Like, maybe once? But, so anyway, that would be one thing I didn't like, was just, like, that kind of not knowing who they are and stuff. Um, other good things, though, I really like Agent Coulson still. I'm sticking with that. Like, I just think he's really funny. And every time I see him, I'm, like, happy to see him. And um, And what else? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just really liked him. And I really liked the whole, like, idea of the hammer and him not being able to pick it up and then, and, like, all the people trying. Like, that was really funny. Um, yeah, it was just a good movie. So, you know, it was fun. It was a fun movie. I, I had fun. I liked meeting Thor. I'm excited to see him again in Avengers. You know, it says at the end of the credits, Thor will return in Avengers. And I'm like, yes, I'm ready. I'm ready to see it. Uh, so, yeah, it was just, it was, up. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would, honestly. It was a really fun time. Uh, so, oh, so here we go. So for this last art page, I had this idea in my head as soon as I saw it, and I actually burned the paper. Here's a flip through with my writing. Um, but I burned the edges of the paper out on my porch, and it was, like, really hard, but it was so worth it. And you'll see the final product in a moment. Um, so, yeah, so I just added writing to all the pages, and I think it turned out really good. And then you'll see this final page I wanted it to kind of look like that rip in the universe between them. Uh, so there's the sky and the galaxy. And then I burned the edges of the paper to make it look kind of like it was like a tear between them. I don't know. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Um, and I'm excited to see them again in Dark World. So, yeah. So next up is Captain America. We're meeting the next 
Avenger, and I'm really psyched. Thanks for watching. Bye.